The winter storm has left its mark across our state, and sadly, some families will never forget the pain of losing a loved one during this crisis. One family in Conroe says their 11-year-old boy died because of the cold, and they blame Intergy along with ERCOT for their loss. KPRC 2's Bill Barajas is live tonight in Conroe with the details of that lawsuit that's been filed on their behalf. Bill? Well, they filed that lawsuit this morning. The family of Christian Pineda lives in this neighborhood behind me, and they believe he died, as you mentioned, because of the freezing temperatures, and they are now seeking $100 million in damages. Christian Pineda was happy here, captivated by the winter weather and making the most of the snowy Houston day. The video, just a few seconds long, would be his last. Like many of us, when the snow came, uh, everybody was a little bit giddy and excited about it because, you know, Texas doesn't see snow. Uh, and then the hard reality was when you have no power and it's 12 degrees. The 11-year-old was found dead Tuesday. Tony Busby, the family's attorney, says they believe a brutally cold night without power is to blame. Common sense tells you that obviously the, the weather played a part in his death. Um, his mother is very um, clear that he had no underlying conditions whatsoever that would make him particularly vulnerable to cold weather. Busby filed a lawsuit on behalf of the family today accusing the Electric Reliability Council of Texas and Intergy, a utility company, of gross negligence. What's interesting about this whole ordeal is what these power providers and ERCOT knew long before many of us knew it. That is, that they did not have the capacity. They knew they didn't have the capacity. They knew that, that they had not winterized uh, their sources of power, um, and they put people in a lot of danger. Busby says the results of Christian's autopsy have not yet been released, but he doesn't believe it will affect how he approaches this case. It won't change. I mean, because I'm very confident that, that uh, the, the weather and the lack of power and the, and the cold weather caused uh, or was a significant factor in this young man's death. And the results of that autopsy are expected here in the next uh, few days. We reached out to ERCOT and to Inter Intergy about Christian's death and about the lawsuit. ERCOT did not get back to us, but in a statement, Intergy said, quote, we are deeply saddened by the loss of life in our community. We are unable to comment due to pending litigation. Live in Conroe, Bill Barajas, KPRC, 2 News. Bill, thank you. Well, it is an issue.